my name is Zita Stone and um, uh, I am the Associate Dean of Graduate Studies and Postgraduate Student Experience at Kent Business School. What this means is that I look after the portfolio of all postgraduate courses um, at Kent Business School across two campuses uh, in Canterbury and in London. And um, what I want to tell you uh, today about is about the business school, about the exciting uh, courses to offer and why uh, we'd love that you uh, joined us in September 2023. So why choose a uh, business and masters? And um, uh, I just want to reiterate some of the uh, key reasons why we know you will be looking to do a uh, master's degree. Um, and really through that, I just want to tell you how, uh, because of um, uh, uh, the reasons that uh, we know are out there for all postgraduate degrees, how we are getting uh, ready for you and make sure that uh, our courses address the needs that you uh, feel you may have or are looking for in a postgraduate degree. So um, firstly, uh, we are delivering courses that are relevant for the um, environments and the situations uh, that we are in now. Um, all materials, the discussions, uh, uh, everything is up to date to really deal with the post-COVID, post-Brexit, post-recession um, uh, environment we are in. And think about the uh, impact uh, that the current geopolitical crisis and economic crisis we are in uh, is going to have. So so our degrees will uh, prepare you uh, to uh, for the real world that you will be uh, going into. We know that the situation has been very difficult, uh, but we also know that there is going to be a bounce back uh, uh, this year. Um, and uh, there will be an increased uh, demand for uh, graduates and for those who can demonstrate um, how they can make a difference to their future organizations, uh, given the difficult political uh, and, and economic situation we are in. What we also know, and my colleague uh, Nicola Urquhart may be talking about uh, this um, uh, later on, is um, the value added benefit of uh, you doing a postgraduate uh, degree. Uh, we know that the salaries uh, are much higher. We know that the career progression is uh, quicker for those with postgraduate degrees. And um, ultimately, uh, we are aware that uh, your master's degree are to uh, distinguish you uh, from others and that is um, a, something that we work on only this week we work on our uh, postgraduate students we ran induction events and today is the first uh, week of the classes um, uh, so very very exciting um, it's not just about the knowledge acquisition and you may be looking for a specific course in a, in a subject uh, that um, you want to pursue, whether this is finance, uh, uh, marketing uh, or human resource management, for example. But it's very much also about the skills that we know uh, employers will be looking for and will be working with you to uh, develop, polish, um, and um, uh, attain the uh, skills, the transferable skills that we know you need to have. So why coming to us? There is, of course, um, a variety of business schools that you can be looking at. So there are a few things that we're proud, uh, uh, we are proud uh, about and we want to share with you. The first one is academic excellence. So we are an international uh, uh, school with international reputation of higher quality for our research and uh, uh, teaching. And what this means is that um, by taking a course with Ken Business School, you'll be uh, starting a degree with an institution which is a, um, uh, has a focus in both research and uh, teaching. This means that research informs our teaching and our teaching practice then um, uh, uh, informs our uh, research. And uh, ultimately you'll be uh, in the classroom led by colleagues who are in top of their game. Uh, for example, in our, our department of analytic systems and operation, we have uh, academic colleagues who are in the top 2% of experts in their field globally. 
Uh, we are a school uh, that focuses strongly on sustainability and innovation. It says in our mission that we are a school of sustainable innovation. And you will see this embedded across all our programs, activities, your delivery, the case studies, uh, what you will be asked to think about in your recommendations in your, uh, of, your, of your research projects, reports, how you will be asked to, um, uh, to behave uh, and, and, and what, yeah, what sort of behaviors and focuses you'll be asked to, to demonstrate in your, uh, in your uh, studies. Uh, what is very important, uh, which is uh, almost a, a stamp of quality, is the triple accreditation status that Kent Business School has. Um, the triple accreditation uh, status, which is uh, by three accreditations, the AACSB, ECRIS and AMBA, uh, is very unique. And we as Kent Business School having this triple accreditation uh, know that this puts us in top 1% business schools globally. Um, it is um, a great honor to be in this select group of business schools and uh, really talks to the hard work and uh, the qualities um, uh, that we as uh, Ashgate Business School have. We have very strong corporate uh, connections. Uh, we have links with established international, national, but also regional businesses here in the county uh, of Kent. And we embed employability in everything uh, that we do. You will have uh, visiting speakers, you will have um, consultancy projects, you have various opportunities of how you can engage with um, uh, businesses and gain employability experience while on the course, but also after you've finished your main studies. Uh, our student support uh, has been uh, second to none. Uh, we have dedicated in-house team who are supporting students on whatever uh, further advice apart from what they get in the lectures, seminars, workshops, um, uh, whether this is academic or pastoral support. So we want to make sure that all students have equal opportunities, that they are supported and um, uh, uh, they, can, they can do well in their degree. What is um, absolutely amazing and um, what we celebrate is the diversity at Kent Business School. So we have over 157 nationalities and uh, this is represented equally by students and staff. So uh, plus 50% of staff are from overseas. And what this really does for you is um, create a stimulating learning environment and um, ensures that you are really able to develop the global perspectives that you have to demonstrate uh, um, in your work when you leave us. So as I mentioned, we have two main campuses. We have a, a third campus, but the degrees that I'll be talking about uh, do take place either in uh, Canterbury or in Medway. Uh, you can see on the map how we are conveniently uh, close to London uh, from both campuses. From Medway, it is just under an hour, Canterbury just over an hour on the speed um, train. And we are also close to the continental Europe. So our students often um, uh, make the use of the this uh, proximity and to venture into uh, the continent as well. Here are some of the professional uh, recognition and uh, 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 course accreditations that we also hold next to the school-wide triple accreditations I was talking about earlier. So you may recognize uh, some. Uh, there is the uh, AMBA that um, uh, accredits our MBA course, uh, Institute of Export and International Trade that um, accredits our international business and management, uh, CMI, CIM, which is linked again to our uh, MSc Marketing and MSc Digital Marketing and Analytics. Now, Canterbury uh, is a uh, green campus. Uh, you will be taking classes in the very modern um, Sipson building. That's where I am now. And uh, you'll be part of a, a very vibrant, lively uh, community of postgraduate students across the seven, um, uh, uh, well, six plus uh, the support uh, uh, centre, but across the different uh, divisions that there are uh, at the university of Kent and on the picture on the right there you can see the Canterbury Cathedral and that is where all our students that take Canterbury courses um, uh, graduate which is absolutely amazing. 
Uh, other courses we have on our second campus, which is in Medway. Uh, all the facilities, everything is there. And so the experience is, um, uh, again, uh, top class. Uh, library in Medway uh, is the longest library in Europe. All the facilities are um, uh, modern, including digital classrooms, online resources. Um, and again, students um, uh, who take courses on this campus graduate in the beautiful Rochester Cathedral. Now, how we uh, deliver uh, education at Kent Business School? Ultimately, for us, it is about a learning journey. Uh, we want to make a difference to, um, uh, to your uh, future career progression. And uh, as such, we really try to put together uh, the pre-KBS. That's why we are already engaging with you, with you as our potential applicants and, and hopefully future students now, because we want to make sure that you understand us, you have the opportunity to ask us questions, engage, and get all the information you need about us and the courses we offer and the faculty that um, we have um, uh, um, uh, are on either of the campuses. Then it's the experience you have with us once you're actually taking the course and also how we work together once you become our alumni and the support we can give uh, you uh, either when you run your own business um, with our then students. We also very much um, uh, build your experience around not only the curricula, what we have to uh, deliver, which is the lectures and the workshops and the seminars, but also the co-curricula to make sure that you are exposed to opportunities to attend different uh, open lecture talks, go on, on study trips, um, and the extracurricular experiences to make sure that you can engage uh, with all the enhancement uh, opportunities that the university may offer through their workshop societies, etc. What do we aim? We aim to uh, give you, as part of our education and student experience strategy, uh, the best and uh, the most um, uh, uh, well, an excellent quality education experience to make sure that you uh, have uh, the, the most recent uh, knowledge uh, that you are being. Um, uh, taught by uh, relevant experts. Uh, I was talking earlier about the outstanding student experience that combines the, the pre post, but also while you are on the course and outside of the, of the course, the curricula and the extracurricula. Uh, student voice is very important uh, to us. So we are really working with our students as, as, as co-creators, collaborators on, on um, uh, the experience that we can create together for our students. We have a very strong focus on equality, diversity, inclusivity, and also ethics, responsibility, and um, sustainability. Uh, so these themes are running through uh, your lectures, your modules, your seminars, the case studies, the types of visiting speakers you have. And again, we'll just make sure uh, that drive your, your thinking in this uh, important area. And then ultimately, uh, the fourth uh, pillar, if you like, the fourth key aim is the excellent employability opportunities. So to make sure that we develop your transferable skills, we bring you to uh, practice, we uh, get you networking with employers and bring you um, as many opportunities to uh, gain your final uh, jobs after you graduate with us as possible. How do we teach and learn? Uh, we te teach in two stages across three terms. You would typically have the uh, term one, which if you're starting in September would be in the autumn. Then you have term two, which is in the spring. And then you go over the summer into the final stage of your studies. And that would be the independent uh, research project. Uh, those of you who are looking to study an MBA, they have a slightly different um, uh, way of, uh, of way of how we deliver because they take the course in block teaching. So rather than having each module uh, spread across 11 or 12 weeks, uh, the MBA students will have each module in one week. Then you have a break that you go into another week. And in one week, you have all your contact hours and you finish a module from Monday to Friday. 
We have reading weeks in the middle of each term to make sure that you have time to catch up on your reading, get going with your assignments, use your time to meet your academic advisors, start looking uh, and, and be doing things outside of the course, attend, um, uh, attend some of the events that uh, the university outside of campus school may be offering. I was talking earlier about very much building the experience around the academic, pastoral and the employability support. And um, how will you be assessed? You'll be assessed at a com uh, via a combination of uh, coursework, um, assignments, these may be uh, individual presentations, pre-recorded group presentations, in-person presentations, reports, blogs, essays, tests, in-class tests, uh, and on many courses also via um, end of module uh, major examinations, and these either can take place uh, in person or online as open book or time constraint exams. Uh, I was talking earlier about the importance for us to, to work with um, practitioners. Uh, industry presence is something uh, you will feel in your courses by visiting speakers, live case studies, uh, consultancy projects, uh, pitches uh, is one such case where companies come present their problem and then our students work um, either individually or in teams and uh, present their solution, pitch their uh, solution and suggestion how to uh, resolve the problem uh, at hand that a company may have and presented on um, how to how to approach it. Uh, I was talking about the focus on uh, employability, internationalization, sustainability and innovation and here we'll really sum up the research uh, led employability uh, approach. And again, my colleague Nicola may be uh, coming to this later. So we are teaching you um, uh, and, and our aims to ensure that you are able to make decisions that are credible, are based on empirical uh, research, are data driven, um, and therefore you'll be uh, working um, and uh, uh, there is a whole set of uh, workshops, a program set up to ensure that you are uh, solid researchers in your field, not necessarily because all of you will progress on to academic um, careers. Some of you may want to uh, progress to do PhDs, which is fantastic. We have a very good PhD program, but you need those research skills also when you go and work for yourself or when you go and work for large corporations, because there is so much noise, there is so much information. What companies will be looking for and what will make a difference is when you know what data to use, how to, uh, how to present information and uh, how to uh, make recommendations based based on real, uh, credible data and make decisions that are ultimately data-driven, whether this data is of qualitative or quantitative character. Uh, all our MSc courses offer an option uh, of a 12-month um, industry placement. So you can either take a degree, which is only the 12 uh, uh, months, let's say MSc Marketing, or you can apply uh, straight away to MSc Marketing with an industry placement. What this means, if you are an international student, is you straight away are able to apply for a longer visa and uh, that will um, uh, you'll be working and be supported by our in-house employability team to help you uh, uh, help you get a placement um, experience after you finish your stage one your stage two research project um, and then you will be progressing on to uh, a placement you also have uh, an option to uh, take part in the in-company scheme. Again, this is open to all postgraduate courses. So as part of your research project, which all uh, uh, MSc or MBA students have to do in order to finish uh, their degree, you will be looking for uh, data. You'll be looking for, as I said, either uh, primary or if not secondary data. Companies come to us with problems and they say, we have this, uh, this issue at hand. Do you have any students about to work on a research project? Well, why don't they, could they, as part of the research project, be working on my problem, on my issue? And that is where we connect you with a company, you'll be linked um, uh, and still uh, uh, supported by your academic supervisor, but you will be developing the consultancy experience and you will be building a research project or dissertation on uh, actual 
uh, actual uh, problem and providing a solution to a, a company given their, their brief. Now, there are different MSc courses that you will be uh, uh, looking. You may already know the course that you are looking to do with us, or maybe this overview will, will help you and, and broaden your views or maybe look into another option. So it depends very much what you want out of your postgraduate degree. Is it something that you're looking for uh, to deepen your knowledge and skills? Or is it that you want a change of direction from where you, uh, where you are right now and what undergraduate degree you were doing? So uh, conversion courses such as leadership and management, international business and management, MSc marketing, logistics and supply chain uh, management, business analytics, uh, human resource management, finance management, strategic project management, uh, and the MBA as well, do not require you to have any specific background, aptitude for uh, any type of skills, pre-existing knowledge. You can go onto these courses and you don't have to have a prerequisite or to be demonstrating specific knowledge, of course, in your personal statements, you need to tell us why you should be uh, the perfect candidate for this course and what it means for your career, what types of uh, employment opportunities you're looking for. But these are the type of courses and you can see either in our Canterbury or Medway campuses, uh, which we refer to as conversion courses. So you can come and, and take this um, uh, degree without necessarily having a, a uh, an aptitude or an experience or prerequisite knowledge. The MBA there, just to point out, uh, because it is accredited by AMBA, which is the Association of um, uh, MBA Courses, you have to have a minimum of three year uh, medium to senior level managerial experience already. If you have some prerequisite knowledge and you say, I want to focus, I want to stay in this degree, if you did uh, uh, an undergrad in finance and accounting and you want to stay in finance, if you did uh, a generic management, maybe with marketing, but you want to stay in the marketing area, here are some of the courses where you sort of continue your journey uh, and you are staying within the specialized area and you are building the link between your undergraduate and your postgraduate degree. So such courses would be the finance, uh, finance investment and risk, which is the most quantitative heavy uh, finance course, fintech, so uh, relevant and, 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 and current uh, to have the fintech knowledge, healthcare management, if you've done management, but you want to focus on healthcare in particular, digital marketing and analytics. As I mentioned, we also offer uh, uh, postgraduate research uh, courses, and these are the uh, PhD degrees we offer uh, at Kent Business School. So you can see the start date, and if you would like a little bit more information about any of the PhD courses, uh, then please let us know. Now, how can you get uh, more from your degree while you were with us? Well, I can already tell you to be uh, making sure you make the most of your academic advisors. These are academics who are not necessarily your uh, leads, your module leads, your seminar leaders, uh, quite often it can be your director of studies or somebody who leads your course and they are there to advise you and provide you and answer your questions or point you to someone who has the correct information. It's the skills workshops that you will be uh, exposed to, uh, the various open lecture series, um, the in-company scheme I was talking about, the possibility of industry placement, to take part of a business startup journey if you want to uh, develop the entrepreneurial skills possibly are looking to even set up your own business one day um, you want to uh, uh, graduate in our beautiful Canterbury or Rochester cathedrals and we have Emily here, one of our students, but here we've put uh, some of the quotes from our former students. Uh, so you can have a quick look and, and see what they say about the courses uh, and the experience they had with us. We have Aaron there who took our MSc management and uh, we have uh, Kali there who, who took our MSc marketing degree. And you, as you can see from the quotes, they're talking about the theoretical knowledge, the credible, strong, 
uh, our theoretical knowledge they were um, uh, they were presented with and, and had to uh, understand and, and, and study but very much about the experiences around building the confidence uh, working with employers and getting those transferable skill uh, polished and ready for future now you'll be asking about funding scholarships and bursaries so here just uh, to to give you uh, an overview or a summary of where we are so we will be offering early bird discounts that is a 10 percent discount of tuition fees if you apply before the end of march next year 2023 and you pay a deposit of two thousand pounds by the end of april so a month later there are university kent loyalty discounts so if any of you have done uh, a degree with the university of kent with a different uh, division there is an automatic loyalty discount additional 10 percent uh, for you there are very Various scholarships, excellent scholarship. These are uh, uh, varying from one thousand to five uh, thousand pounds for which you can apply. And there are some uh, course specific ones. We have several MBA scholarships which are up to twenty five percent of tuition fees. Um, they are all open to all UK European but also international students. We offer also some bursaries to those students um, who may find themselves in financial hardship. So that's something to look into. And there is a special EU fee discount uh, of 25% uh, for students from Europe, despite the fact that we are no longer members of the European Union. There are other various uh, scholarships. I would uh, encourage you to go on the university uh, webpage around tomorrow's world leader scholarships. And um, I've also provided a link there, um, uh, which um, uh, uh, when we're sharing the slides will be visible. But it's as soon as you put in the search on our web page scholarship, all this world information will come up. So if you have any inquiries, um, you can uh, email our KBS admissions team. That's KBS admissions for all inquiries about any of the postgraduate courses. They will directly respond if they have the answer or they will uh, push um, the inquiry to us. Uh, we can talk over email or even set up a uh, meeting over Teams or over Zoom. For MBA specific inquiries, we have the Kent MBA uh, inbox. And I've also posted uh, further links where other useful information may be found. Again, if you go on our webpage, uh, quite easy to find. And that's uh, all from me. Hopefully that was helpful and um, yeah, looking forward to hearing your, your questions that you may have for, for me and my colleagues. Thank you, Zita. Huge thank you for that. That was um, really insightful. Um, great to hear from um, what we would call a globally recognised business school uh, here at Postgrad. So thank you. At this stage, I'd like to welcome on um, Des, Nicola and Emily, uh, representatives at Kent Business School. I believe that Zita, you are going to kind of coordinate where the answers will be coming from and so on from there. Um, a huge welcome to our podcast listeners today. If you are listening on one of our podcast channels, if you're watching on social media, um, we can't answer your questions because of GDPR, so um, we will try to reach out to you after the session, and if you do give us consent to share your details with Kent Business School, we certainly will. But for now, please just keep watching and hopefully your answers will be there. Um, thank you for coming on, Emily, Des and Nicola. Um, Zita, if you want to point in the right direction. So I want to begin with um, what you started with at the beginning of the presentation about where um, Kent Business School is located and the different campuses you've got. One of the questions we've got is, can they choose where they study? So, uh, you know, to a lot of people to be able to study in, um, I think you mentioned uh, Paris and Brussels um, earlier, to be, able to, to be able to study in those locations is a huge coup. Can they choose to study there or is it where the course takes them? Uh, so I'll start and then I'll hand over uh, uh, perhaps uh, on to uh, Emily just to talk about her course and, and her campus. So uh, you cannot choose, uh, you choose by choosing the degree. So certain uh, degrees are offered in on our Canterbury campus and uh, others on our Medway campus. And when you go on our webpage, you always have clearly stated where that degree is um, offered. Uh, what this means is that all your classes 
your your lectures, um, uh, uh, everything will take place to really make sure that everything is is is, is nicely and on one campus. Uh, you will have the majority of faculty, academic staff who will be. Uh, uh, full time on that campus, you may have the occasional uh, colleague who is uh, teaching across uh, campuses, but ultimately your experience uh, will be uh, the same, uh, whether you are on one or the other campus, we are one business school. Um, we do not offer, uh, uh, as I said, we make use of the university's provision in uh, 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 the, the centres in Brussels or Paris, but we do not offer courses directly uh, uh, in those campuses. Uh, but I'll just quickly bring in uh, Emily. Would you like to come in and, and say uh, what course you have taken and uh, which course, uh, which campus this was um, uh, at? Yes, so I'm doing the MSc Marketing at the moment. So that is based at the Canterbury campus, which does suit me because that is the one closest to home anyway um but that was just luck really that it worked out that the campus that I wanted and the course that I wanted were in the same place um you know re regardless of of um which campus it is you know if you want to do that course then you know pick based on the course rather than based on the campus I would say Yeah, I think it, it was a good option to have, uh, you know, Canterbury won't suit everyone. Um, at the same way, Medway won't suit anyone. Um, both campuses are fantastic. I have been to the Medway campus, um, not not for any classes, but just to look around. You know, I'd heard people speak about it and say how nice it is. So I just took myself there one day and had a look around. Um, so both campuses are lovely, whichever you do. As I said, definitely pick based on your course rather than based on which campus it is um you know the uni will support you whichever one it is they will help you make it work but definitely pick based on the course that you want to do cool and zita are all the courses and all the campuses should i say are they all accessible um are they you know logistically are there airports nearby is it affordable all these kind of things come into consideration for a student Yes, absolutely. It's part of the uh, the full package. Uh, the London airport, as I had uh, on the map, are, are very close. Uh, there is a uh, fast speed uh, train uh, that is connecting uh, both uh, Medway and Canterbury to London. Um, and um, also uh, you can go from St Pancras directly to, to Europe to Paris. So very accessible. Um, there is also a shuttle bus, a uh, free shuttle bus for students uh, that uh, take students from one campus to the other. Again, not for classes, we want to make sure the students are happy and they, they everything is on, on one, um, but I very much echo what Emily said, uh, do not choose your course based on campus, choose and, and, and take it because of the, of the course, the experience is there, we are one, one business school, one university. Excellent. And because of that, and because of the diverse amount of campuses you've got, does it make for a very cultural campuses, a university as a whole? Is there plenty of international students there? Yes, absolutely. Um, uh, Des, do you want to talk and, and, and come in about the diversity of um, international students on your uh, degree? You're one of our directors of studies. Yeah, no, sure. Yeah, Gareth, uh, everybody. Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Des Laffey. I'm the Director of Studies for the MSc Marketing. So yeah, be, being um, international, it follows on from what Zita said in her talk. Uh, it's essential for a career in uh, business. And it's obviously uh, valuable in that sense. It's also culturally enriching as well. So we have a, a huge number of nationalities represented uh, on our courses. And, uh, and students find that's something that's really, really good. They make new friends got people to kind of visit in the future. Um, I remember a few years ago, a lot, a lot of our students all met uh, later in Sri Lanka for somebody's wedding. It was fantastic kind of thing to see. Um, but no, no, it's a, it, it's a really kind of strong feature. And, um, and I think, you know, it's great for international students because they 
learn about you know the, the the culture of the uk and then they meet people from lots of other countries and people also learn how business is done uh, around the world as well so you know absolutely uh, a really kind of strong selling point i would say uh, for for us definitely great um and i want to allude to the um the uh, the careers and the employability of the things um nicola i know this is probably going to come to you but zita i'll go through you first just in case but um from a business school from a globally recognized business school with so many accreditations the employability opportunities off the back of studying a pg course whether it be an mba or my, any other course must be huge Absolutely. And I hand over to uh, Nicola straight away. Nick, please. Go. Hey. Hi, everybody. I'm Nicola. I lecture in careers and employability. So I'll be supporting you to think about the careers that you want to get post study and, um, you know, supporting you to make applications to network within these different career areas. Um, one of the things that I really like doing is getting alumni in from the courses that um, you'll be studying um, and they can talk about their um, careers and the great opportunities that they've gone on to. So we have lots of international students that decide to stay and work in the UK. Um, and likewise, we have international students that you know, come here and then they decide that they want to work back in their home country. So whatever your reason is for coming to do the course, um, we can support you in terms of getting that career that you want. Um, and as Zita mentioned earlier, sometimes um, people are coming to do an MSc because they're already working in an area. They can see it as something that will help them to progress further in that career area or it might be that you're looking to get into a very different industry or sector or organization. So again, whatever your reason is for um, choosing postgraduate study, um, we can help you to make that count towards the career that you want to get. And to elaborate further on that, Nicola, uh, do you work with global and local institutions to obviously enhance employabilities? It's, uh, yes, we have um, lots of organisations that are coming in to present. So for example, we have IBM that come in, we have Enterprise that, that come in and present. You also, um, through the university's Career and Employability Service, um, have access to Employability Festival. Um, so as an example, that's something that they run. It takes place over two weeks. And there'll be about 100 employers that are coming in, that are running events, they're contributing to careers fairs. Um, and those organisations are coming to Kent because they're looking to recruit Kent students. So as well as employability support within Kent Business School, you also have um, access to the wider university um, and the careers and employability service. Um, and a key thing is that um, as a graduate of the University of Kent, you're supported for up to three years after graduation as well. So there's a lot of support available to you um, after your course as well. Excellent. Thanks, Nicola. Great, great insight there. Uh, Zita, back to you um, in terms of um, coordinating the questions now. Um, there's some questions that I want to ask that have been fired in. I'll kind of fire them at you quite quickly because I think they'll be quick fire answers. Um, accommodation. Um, is it affordable? Is it on site for a lot of these campuses? And so yes, on there? both campuses and they have dedicated colleges uh, uh, and accommodation for postgraduate students. So you'll be uh, in uh, on campus um, and with other postgraduate students. I have spoken to a few students who actually they've come uh, together from the same town from uh, some um, uh, Indian students and they've decided to uh, rent accommodation downtown in central Canterbury. So there is support for whatever you choose. But yes, on campus accommodation uh, as a start starting point is uh, uh, possible at both Canterbury and Midway. And, ob and obviously if you can't make it to campus, there's a, you know, a whole set of circumstances where you can. Um, can you just put people's uh, minds at rest that it doesn't matter if you do an online degree rather than face to face? You know, it's the same accreditation, it gets you the same um, credits and so on from there. 
So the courses that uh, we were uh, talking about earlier, now post-COVID, they are face-to-face -face, uh, courses. So you have to be on campus uh, for those. Um, I did not, uh, we are looking to uh, uh, start an online uh, provision, but that is not um, uh, currently or something that we were talking about. So all courses that uh, we were talking about or are on our web pages are face-to-face. -face. That's what how they've been designed for yeah. students to be embedded um, in our uh, in, in, in our uh, environments. And post-COVID as well, everybody wants to get out and do stuff Indeed. and, you know, <laughs> not be stuck in anymore. Um, so talk to me about funding and scholarships. You did have a dedicated page earlier about it in the, in the presentation you did. Um, how do students go and apply? We've had questions about um, third party scholarships, such as Chevening. Marshall was mentioned as well, I think. So talk to me about how a student applies for that funding and, and how it can help them. So uh, some scholarships are offered directly by uh, Kent Business School and others uh, are offered by the university. It is possible to um, apply for two or even uh, again, sometimes you can have them uh, you benefit from others, other combinations maybe that you choose, you have to pick, you can't be uh, uh, benefiting or gaining two scholarships at the same time. Uh, the tuning uh, scholarship, yes, it is possible uh, to apply uh, for that scholarship for our research uh, degrees. And uh, yeah, the, the deadlines are uh, until uh, later in the summer. The scholarships, of course, as soon as applications come through, they are being reviewed on a monthly and, and awarded on a monthly basis. Um, but apart from the scholarships, uh, there are also, as I was mentioning, early bird discounts and uh, uh, loyalty discounts uh, the students should, should look into. Oh, and I want to finish with two questions. Firstly, um, we've had a couple of questions around this. Is there a January intake? How many intakes have you got? Can you apply as soon as possible? So we have uh, September is our main intake. Uh, we have uh, taken on uh, just under 600 postgraduate students across several courses in Canterbury and Medway, so it's beautiful, busy, it's fantastic to see students here. We have a uh, January intake for only one of our courses, and that is for the strategic project management uh, on the Medway campus. Uh, so main main intake in September it is possible on one of our courses strategic project management to uh, take it in January okay and, and to wrap things up how long does it take to apply and where does a student need to go to apply because sometimes it can be quite daunting so just tell someone where they need to go what they need to know and how long they can expect it to take so we have an in-house uh, admissions team, which is fantastic. We do not rely on uh, the centre admissions team only. That means that the turnaround times, the response times are uh, very quick. Uh, they do respond uh, within uh, five days, but uh, the majority of cases within 48 hours, or sometimes if it's a, an easy, easy uh, response or quick response, it can be even uh, within a couple of hours. Um, you go onto our webpage, uh, look at the uh, how to apply admissions, uh, follow the instructions there. Uh, if there is something you need help with or advice on, as I mentioned earlier, uh, email kbs admissions at kent.ac.uk excellent zita thank you for that um thank you for everything the presentation thank you for the q a at the end it's been very insightful thank you nicola des and emily thanks for your time today it's been really insightful and and great to hear all your inputs in in your speciality so thank you uh, but for now we're just going to move on in terms of what postgrad.com's got to offer um so if anyone's got any questions surrounding what we've covered today um it might be that you're interested more in an online course it might be that you're interested in studying another country head over to our website postgrad.com it's got everything you need to know about PG courses on there. We've got a dedicated business zone on there, which we've heard from today, um, a study and business special. Um, there is eligibility to win a, a £500 bursary for those that are interested. Head over to our website. Everyone is eligible. Um, anyone from any country studying any mode of study and so on from there. So head over to our website and apply. But for now, a huge thank you to everybody at Kent Business School, to those behind the scenes as well, uh, Rosie and Ellie for helping make this happen. Um, and thank you to all involved today. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.